Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. On a whim, uh, last week, Jake Ludington, who's a, a, a I guess, a, a conspirator in this Locker Gnome universe of ours, a, a partner, helps us do things that we need to do on a, on a daily basis, said, you know, what if we put a QR code in the videos? And so we thought about it. And I said, it's pretty easy to do. I can just you know, put it in there as an element and people could use it. Now, if you haven't used QR codes before, uh, we've talked about them. It's an easy way to get from point A to point B. So you could scan my QR code on my phone if I hold it still. Remember doing that? I did a video on this a long time ago. Or you could use software like uh, Scan is the free one that's available on uh, iOS. And I, that's my favorite one because it's, it's universal and it's easy and it's free no ads or anything, you could use a, a QR code reader on any platform. And you use scan to load up the camera, whatever you have, and scan the QR code. Of course, I'm not pointing at a QR code. So the QR code we have in today's TLDR episode that ran throughout, and including all the video segments, is this one. Now, at some point, we may swap out the QR code in each video to correspond to the Locker Gnome article that we happen to be doing. So you could be listening to me, and you could do a scan of the QR code and be reading the article at the same time that you're watching me do the video. So it's kind of like three-dimensional. So I think I'm going to do this every day, and here's why. It seems that over the course of doing the live TLDR episode, the first time using this QR code, the short link that we use is tracking where and how people are using this QR code. So this is, this is awesome. I find live demographics. Uh, according to this, uh, 74 people during the course of this broadcast uh, came from the United States, 23 from the United Kingdom. So that tells me that people are watching this and staying up very, very late to watch this, and I appreciate it. Browsers, 55% were mobile, which stands to reason because this is a, a mobile application, QR code scanning. You could use desktop software to scan QR codes as well. Uh, most people were using Safari. Then I go on to platforms. You guys are going to love this. So uh, iPhone has 76 and Linux, 25. They, don't, they list Android 1. So I'm guessing Linux as the browser agent is probably Android. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll throw you a bone. I'm not kidding, guys. Let me Hang on. Let me move the mug over here and show you, just so you know I'm not joking about this is the audience. You guys, if you guys want to change this, we're, I, I, I'll do this every single day and show you the statistics here. Today, look at that. I'm not kidding. BlackBerry, 1. iPad, 5. Windows, 7. Wait, iPad... Oh, iPod was nine, iPad was five, iPhone, 76. So uh, if there are any Android users out there, either they don't know how to use QR codes or their agent is registering different. I'm guessing, though, that Linux is, is registering as, as uh, Android in that platform. That's a guess. Uh, and if you want to change those statistics, you can. Uh, but it seems that iPhone is, there are a lot of iPhone users who are watching the live feed on uh, as we push it out through uh, YouTube. But of course, those statistics will change with this particular video, and we, we may do a different short link every single day uh, to track you know, how many people might be watching that day, or you know, may keep the same QR code over time. Uh, but it's just interesting to know where you guys are uh, viewing from. The QR code, by the way, at least the default one that we have uh, running in today's videos, just leads off to where you can subscribe to the Locker Gnome email newsletter for free, easy to do, and we figure, hey, just you know, QR code it, type in your email address, confirm your email, and you'll be getting our information. So that was the QR code experiment. Did it work? I think so. It's not hurting anything. It's fun, and I think it's geeky cool. Some people said that if an Android barfed, that's what it would look like. And I don't mean like an Android phone, but like a droid. A, if a robot barfed, that's what it would look like. And you know what? I like the way robots barf if that's the case. Scan it! Now!